Hall number three. Beautiful building to the left of Flag Central, as you see there. That flag is absolutely enormous. It's almost the size oh, of a football pitch. Women's 67, men's plus 80s, all the heavyweight. You've got to take your hat off to her because she came forward and walked in and scored the point that she needed to. You know, Walton was trying to keep away, was playing defensive, and when it mattered, Con never scored. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And you've got to try and, and, you know, even if the, in the effort of trying to win, if you lose, then you can accept it. No regrets. So Konyeva, having had a massive lead, she slipped back into it, but Walton overcome in the end. And then we're on to the men's heavyweight match up here. Leonardo Basile of Italy. I'm looking forward to this one. And he's up against Ivan uh, Konrad Trykovic. Yeah, Trykovic, I like watching him. He's a, he was a good fighter in the minus 80 category. He moved up to middleweight. He's not the biggest of the heavyweights, but he's very strong. Good mover. Similar style to Basile. Basile, much the older, much the more experienced. He's been around for what seems like forever. <laughs> Yes, he's 32 years old, and for the first time, looking through all my stats, he's the first fighter I've got here, having won a medal at the World Championships in 2005. Yep. He took a bronze in the heavyweights there, and he's uh, he's a gold medalist from European Championships 2012. He's, you know, he's he's been around. He's he's taken a bronze at Euros 2014 here in Baku last year, and Basile. Well, I think he's one of those. What he doesn't know about the sport is not worth knowing. Yep, absolutely. It's experience, but will experience pay off against youth here because the Slovenian, Trajkovic, he's got that explosive style about him. He's got the quickness. And as you can see, both of them, well, if you're a Taekwondo fan, these guys look like middleweights. They were originally in that category, but up here in the Olympic grouping, they're the smaller of the heavyweights, which usually gives a little bit more movement yeah. rather than power. Well, they'll be uh, the winner of this. Will face Isayev in the semi-final from Azerbaijan, who didn't get it all his own way against Van Roy. But just managed to come out on top. It's a strange uh, concept of court final, isn't it? You've got to try and win your fight, but also not not absolutely. Yeah, save a little bit in reserve. Yeah, and I think it's fair to say we've just seen Walton almost, you know, limp off. It's fair to say that Bianca would have had issues with the semi-final had she won because she's only got an hour before the semi-final comes up. Back to the men, though. Still nil-nil. Vasily just taking it easy. He's got a, a very relaxed style. He used to be extremely explosive off the spot. But is he as quick as Trzkovic, the Slovenian blue? For my money, just being a little bit quicker. Yeah. Back kick attempt from the Italian, relying on timing. Gives your opponent a pause for thought. And there's a little flicking shot there from Basili. Almost steals another. Head kick there from Trzkovic. Very close. Just going to so get a, close gonna indeed. Get a card here. Uh, interestingly enough, when I mentioned that European Championships 2012, who did he beat? He beat Trzkovic in that final. And it was 7-6. So these two have fought a major international final before. And here we are, it's only at the quarter-final stage. Now, did that land? Oh. Uh, yeah, there looks like plenty of contact does. there on yep. the jaw. Trzkovic's certain of it. And it looks as if it was just above the strap. And I think, you know, we're, we're going on the guide that the strap is the difference. Well, the coach is applauding. Understandably. <laughs> yes. That's a common tactic, just to put a little bit of pressure. In fact, he knows he's going to get it. It was clear on the replay. And that will be three points to Slovenia in blue. That's where the replay system is fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely great. Restores parity and fairness in this match here. And it's 3-1 now in favour of Prichkovic. Leonardo Basile trying to, again, he's going to use his back leg. He does that rather well. But the Slovenian was aware of it and does one of his own. And that is the quickness I was talking about. That's speed off the spot. Good opening period here. And more to come. These two are very good fighters indeed. They fought that major European final in 2012. They actually fought this year at the Swiss Open 
in a semi-final. Trakovic was the winner on that one. So they won all on head-to-heads. And uh, the 23-year-old, that face does not mean business. Oh, he's a tough fighter. He's, a, he's, a, he's actually a very nice kid as well, good guy. But very well prepared, a great athlete, always in the weights room. And that's what gives him the, the explosive power off the spot. A little bit of a throwback fighter in terms of his style. And he's throwing the head back there of Basile right kick. in the jaw. Great kick that was. And then that, that was the power coming through, wasn't it? You know, there's a lot, as you say, a lot of time we spent in the gym. He looks as if he's he's pumped. Yeah. And the way that kick came through, he rocked Basile yep. backwards there. Yep, and that's the thing about the heavier weights is that it's the same as boxing. You can see knockouts in the heavyweight because they have got that power behind them. Yeah. But it all comes down to timing and distance. And so far, the better of the two is the man from Slovenia, Trajkovic. Well, knockouts aren't that regular in Taekwondo. I think I've only seen one myself. There are various videos. I'm sure you could search up on uh, online. Um, there are some spectacular knockouts from time to time. But we had one at the Grand Prix. And points galore here. Basile scores, but then so does Trajkovic. 4-2. Uh, Basile got the better of that little push, although it was just one point each. Basile threatens the head kick. And, well, Kimgo, not sure what that was for. It wasn't holding, surely. Well, maybe I was the same as you, Adrian. He looked to block the head kick, but maybe it was holding on the referee's side. So the referee's, yeah. you know, pitch side, they can see it a little bit clearer. So that Kimgo would make a difference. 4-2 with one yellow card hanging over the Slovenian fighter as he changes stance and looks for that angle again. He loves to explode off the spot and he goes for it again. Blocked this time with the leg of the Italian. Referee Mohamed Agrubi lets it go. Back kick attempt there. Almost scoring. Halfway up the threshold. Halfway through the round. Good spin kick and counter reverse, but falling over this time, the Italian. You see a Kyunga there. You feel that both athletes are just holding a bit in reserve for the third here, don't you? It's one of those sort of little static second periods. They both know that this will all be decided in the third. Wow. But, oh, that was the, chop kick, that was the worst head kick I've ever seen. It turned <laughs> into the best body kick, so... That's, you don't see many point scores off the best for no. a, a chop kick like that. But, yeah. uh, a fluke there for the Italian, but he'll take it. Yeah. Well, in Van Roy's uh, first round match against Sarvi, there was an incredible spinning turning kick that just literally flicked the edge of the vest. Scored three points. It was, there's no power on it whatsoever. It hardly moved the vest, but it was received by the sensors. Yep, sustained contact and impact, and it's been matched there by the back kick there of Trajkovic. He's going to get these extra bonus points, I would imagine. Yep. It's not the fire alarm, don't panic, folks. It is <laughs> extra points. In fact, before that, the judges are going to have a little chat first. Yeah, it was a good back kick from the man in blue. Back kick, of course, counts for three points. Judges all conferring. Just to get the story right. <laughs> <laughs> Mohamed Argubi of the Netherlands usually he's on the video replay duty but he's he's getting a bit of limelight in the yeah, centre here let him out to play today let him get some mat time and it was a good decision the back kick and no card being brought out either so obviously the Italian side decided that was a fair kick yep it scored on the protector so it was just a matter of process to get the points on the board Trajkovic that little bit of quality from him Trajkovic, <laughs> he's practicing his hard stare, you can see himself on the big screen. That's his default setting, I'm afraid. <laughs> that's him in a good mood, isn't that's it? That's it, that's him happy. Oh my goodness. No, he's, a, he's a very nice guy, very smart. Yeah. And a smart move here with that front leg, that kept a minute, and this was the step chop kick that flicked off the body protector. That's a new move in yeah. Taekwondo. The least said about that, the better, but the back kick from the Slovenian Perfectly scored. Three points. Don't know if I'd be more afraid of Trzkovic or the Italian coach. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's a good job the Italian coach is retired because I think he's got a bit of energy in, inside him still. Former world champion, top fighter, not to be messed around with. And presided over great success for the Italian national team. So 
Do they have Masters Taekwondo where some of the older guys... They do, yeah. they do actually. To, I saw same. some at the US Open actually recently, yep. some very big old guys going at it there. Here's another point for Slovenia and another one. As Basile tries to go for the spinning kick, bears the head kick. Basile is right back in this. Plus the push. And there'll be a, yeah, there'll be a, yeah, there's a Kyungo for that and Trevich accepts it. John, just like you said, the third period with 10 seconds gone, the scoreboard's been turned upside down. This could, this could end up 16-15. It's one of these games that in Taekwondo you can't overcommit. You have to take your time, you have to feel out the process. But once you've got that information, you have to play your own game. And that's what's happening here is that they've decided, let's have a fight here. Because initially, it's like crossing the street. You've got to have a look. You see if there's cars coming, then you make your decision. Once you know that street, you keep just crossing it and crossing it. You get used to it. And that's what's happening with these guys. They're comfortable in the middle of the ring. They're comfortable throwing the shots. They've both got their distance. And down into the last minute and some change here of this third round. Punch from Trojevic, but it's the kick from Bilsili. That may be taken off, it isn't. That was a sneaky one from the Italian. Yep. Normally those are taken off. I'm not sure if the referee actually realised. I think you're right. I don't think he saw it. Yeah, I don't think he... That's why you, have, you hear the little click in the arena when a point scored. And maybe we could have seen a card card shown there. But now this is tight. One point in it. Trajkovic has to be very careful of that front leg to the face. Good back leg counter. Back leg, of course, the leg furthest away. Obviously, the front leg is not that one, but is that front leg again from the Italian. He's good at that. Trajkovic trying to run the clock down a little bit. Knows he's got the lead. Happy just to take 10 seconds off the clock, but Basile is experienced enough to know. Single point draws it level. <laughs> Attempted punch, and now he's in trouble. Eight seconds to go. Trojevic tries to attack. Basile goes for the double punch, and one of them scores. And the head kick oh, scores on the way through there. Wonderful shot from Tajkovic. Was he holding? Was he pulling? The referee may take those three off, but it doesn't matter. And a, a Kyungo will go to the Italian. So what was a five-point lead will end up a one-point victory. If it lands, there's still two seconds here on this one. And now we have a card. Yep. <laughs> well, this is the last chance saloon card, I think we're going to call it. Where, basically, you've got the card in your hand. There was a bit of an incident. Let's just hope. He's appealing for a face kick, he's just hoping that somewhere amongst the way, something hit a face. <laughs> there was a bit of industrial language there. Apologies to any Korean people watching this one, but... Uh, <laughs> OK, of course you speak Korean fluently, I, I so, indeed, uh, so there was you'll a, have to tell me what he said later. I will indeed. I'll explain it to you with a use of a diagram. <laughs> it was uh, what he intended to do to the Italian for the lack of concentration oh, there. really? OK. Well, it, it, it was almost, it's almost like a boxing match. You don't see punches going in like that, do you? Very often. There's the head kick, but it was after the clinch, and so the referee took that away. So that doesn't count. Well, what a what a finish! Where's he? He doesn't know what day it is. Um, I'm I'm not sure if they know what they're looking for here. I can't see this one being accepted. It, the Korean. The the, no, Korean, the, Korean, the, Korean, the Korean coach has just said, look, there's a face touch somewhere, hopefully, yep. in there. I don't think he said hopefully, but... Well, what happened there, Basile tried to throw the head kick. It was blocked. Then we saw that flurry of fists and feet. So it might have just been this one here. Just as the chop kick comes up, we may get to see it. It could be immaterial because the decision has been made. And the Italian... <laughs> well, they, they're calling the referee forward. So there's obviously just a little query going on here. They're going to go and talk to him. Now, this is on, this is the first time this has happened. Well, both players are indulging a bit of refereeing themselves here. The video replay card being returned. Does that mean that three points? Yep, are re-added. Oh, no, they're taken away. But, what, that was, but they've already done that. That was for the initial head kick. Now, let's just take a pause here because we could yeah. get lost in the, the sea of cards here. The Slovenian coach is going to say that it was a legitimate head kick. And the referee is saying, if you're... 
Well, delete one point. I don't know if you're allowed to do that. It's not cut and paste. I don't think you can just uh, stick a point on. But I think what's been said is that there's been an extra point added. Well, it's all consternation and confusion here in the Crystal Hall. Well, I'm quite confused, John. I'm going I'm, to I'm I'm re-watch this because the Korean coach said face kick. Yep. He did that movement with his hand. Yep. They've made a judgment on something else here. They but again, he might have said no face kick. So we don't know. I thought it was not this one, the one previously. So but hard it, on the cameraman. But, but I think it was the, the head kick thrown by the Italian was the one that was asked for. That was my impression. But it wasn't a face kick because it was counted automatically by the scoring system and you can't overrule the scoring system. But it wasn't asking for one to be overruled. I think he was asking for one to be added on. But they took three points away from Slovenia. That's what's the confusion point for me. I don't know if that was... Um, letters on a postcard to the commentary box <laughs> at Baku, the first European Games in Azerbaijan. Um, I, I'm going to re-watch this again online later because I'm really I'm seriously puzzled. Um, I'm right, aren't I, John? I'm not actually... No, you haven't. An angle. Yeah, I am confused. You haven't lost reason. your mind. I'm yeah. the same. I don't. But this is one of the things. It would be an ideal innovation if we could hear what the coaches were asking for yeah. and what the video replay judge was reviewing. Yeah. You can see different conversations happening different ways. Accepted, rejected. It That's is accepted. accepted. Whoa. So the card goes back. Okay, apologies. This may not be the best commentary you've ever heard, but we're we're truly confused here. And so one point is going to come off. The, no, no, the wrong side. It's the Italian. <laughs> Even the referee is confused. There we go. Listen, Even the referee doesn't know what's going never on. Never take the credit and never take the blame. That's the only way to get through this life. <laughs> OK, well, this is probably... Um, oh, we made the mistake of saying how the officials have been so good here. You made the mistake. I made the mistake. I know. I'm, I'm merely back. I was only watching. No, okay. I'm only kidding. No, it's no, good no. officials. They and it is a, good. a confusing yeah, situation, yeah, yeah. but it evens things up at nine each. It's going to go into sudden death. Let's not try and figure it out no. because we could tie ourselves a knot. It is the crystal hall. We don't have a crystal ball. We have no idea no. what that one was about, and neither does the coach. No. Now, key point in this one they've cooled down, the legs are stiff, they've been waiting and watching and waiting and watching. Now it's time to score, it's time to get back to Taekwondo. Yeah, and, and quite an amazing turnaround here from. You know, Trojevic was, was five, six points ahead. He, he's led throughout the whole of the match since the very, very beginning. And for the first time in the match, it's just leveled with two seconds to go in the third. You know, he's going to be feeling gutted as well, personally, that, you know, he, he's led all the way through and suddenly Basili has managed to level. Incredible. Incredible action, as you say. But now, decision time. Do you go for it? Yeah. This is exactly why the heavyweights are so adored, isn't it? This is the blue ribbon event. And seeing these big guys, they are not leaving anything else. You know, it's all been put out on the mat. And now we have the golden point. The first point scores. Wow. I'm feeling a bit out of breath. It's still quite early in this session. Slovenia in blue. Italy in red. Who's going to make the first move? Footwork first from Krajkovic in blue. Tries with the front leg. Good counter from Basile. Well blocked, but there's a shot almost scoring from the Slovenian. And the pressure is on here. Huge decisions to be made here. Do you stick? Do you twist? Change your stance there from the Slovenian. Is he going to go with the back leg? Tries a front leg hook kick to the body. Thought about a back shot there. Excellent. That was so close there from Trajkovic. Double kick, well blocked by the Italian. Incredible, we haven't seen a point scored in, in just coming up to almost a minute now. And Trajevic, certainly the aggressor. This is how it's been throughout the match. Basile looking to counter. Well, just a bit of an impasse here. Basile keeping a big distance. And that's why he missed by quite a margin there as they shift into this open stance. Trajkovic is wary of throwing the back leg because he knows there's the punch there. The Italian thought about it. Now, one thing is getting interesting. Now we're getting towards the, the latter end of this. Here's goal. the shot, though. Oh. Vrijkovic with the front leg. Basile switching off for a second. 
and he will think it's justice done there. Yeah. I think, you know, we're, we're very neutral here. Um, you know, we're both British guys, but at the end of the day, we're Scottish, calling all of Scottish. these... Are British. Scottish. Let's get, <laughs> that, let's get that clear. Voted, let's get that clear. But ultimately, we're totally independent on these, and in our minds, there's no doubt that Trajovic definitely deserved to win that bout, yeah. and he had to win it a second time in Golden Point no, as well. Good, good point, well made, and that's the key point about... You talked about the head-to-heads that they've had now it's in favour of the Slovenian. Trajovic wins 10 to 9. I'll tell you one person who's going to be very pleased with that. Mr. Radik Isaev, yep. who's sitting up, putting his feet up, probably getting massaged yep. by a lot of Aziri people, physios all around him. He's getting the best treatment possible. He's just watched those two batter 